what's going on guys it's your girl Janika A and I'm back with another video for you guys so we're just gonna get right into it and see what spirit has for us as you already know we are in a new moon so new moons is all about new opportunities new ways of thinking and just a new you right so let's get into the reading Ooh, and I'm gonna take that one though okay and we have the maiden a new relationship blossoms a lot of you guys have been in waiting season you guys have been learning more about yourself how uh you want your relationships to evolve moving forward you had to do a lot of working in in self-evaluation is what i'm getting okay you guys have been really seeking and really um wanting some type of love that you've always dreamed and have yet to come across in many relationships and i feel like this season is now for a lot of you guys with this maiden card all right it literally states a new relationship is blossoming some of you guys are actually magnetizing your third eye is open there you are magnetizing what a relationship really actually means in this lifetime and and one that is going to be long lasting built off of love and care and satisfaction right and and um loyalty and truth you guys been yearning for it for a lot of seasons and yet season is now that's what i'm getting All right, so look, your season is now, and now you have the chalice, the holy grail. It is like the most fulfilling and the highest form of emotional fulfillment one could ever experience. And you know what? The holy grail starts with you. It starts with you. It starts with you filling your own cup and no longer looking outside yourself for love, all right? It says rejuvenation and fulfillment you guys had to go through a period of really really evaluating yourself you guys were actually drawing in relationships that were toxic because you weren't healed in the areas that you thought you were and now that you are healing from these things now you are really you know doing shadow work and working on yourself you're actually able to know that you are equipped with all the love and all the love and support and the loyalty that you want, you have that within yourself. And now when you have mastered that, when you have mastered the art of self-love, self-care, wine and dining yourself, still being there for others, not placing judgment on others, knowing that everyone has their own path and their level of healing and consciousness. Once you know that, you again realize that you are what you seek. And until you meet that amazing person, you are going to fulfill your own cup. This is what you're doing here. And this is the season that your relationships are really, really going to be blossoming, okay? You're no longer going to attract lower vibrational relationships because you are raising your vibration. And it all has to do with love, loving yourself as much as you want to be loved on the outside. The last card here, no, you have two more cards. You have the key, all right? You have the key. Before, you didn't have your own key to your heart. You were looking outside for love, for opportunities, for doors to be open. You were looking outside yourself, but no longer because, again, your third eye chakra is wide open. You are protected. And now, with this overflowing of love that you have learned to give yourself and others you are now magnetizing that with opening new doors new opportunities new friendships new soul families new friends new romantic partners new ideas a new you this is the new moon all about new beginnings as i stated in the beginning of this video all right you have seduction and it says passion and romance await. So not only are you this innocent or handsome and quiet or, you know, just in your youthful stage, you are very seductive. People find you very, very skillful and different. Very, very infatuating is what I'm getting. All right. There's a lot of passion that is within you and that really, really shows on the outside of you is what I'm getting. You are attracting a lot of things and a lot of people around you because the amount of love you show yourself. 
People are attracted to beings that are confident and that feel that they are special, that they don't seek validation outside of themselves. Yeah, with this, with this, with this aura and this personality and this and this energy that you guys are embodying, you are really, really screaming seduction and passion and confidence and alignment to the world. That is what people see right now. And again, it says romance await. You guys are attracting new love, but a new love that is really going to be something that is going to last. Spirit doesn't want, you know, us beings to keep moving around. This is going to be our kingdom spouse is what I'm getting. And just because you guys are, or everybody is, you know, awakening, you can still be seductive. You can still be sexy. You can still give off that, you know, divine feminine or divine masculine energy in such a way where people are just, you know, at all with you is what I'm getting, honestly. It's because you've learned to give this to yourself here and open up the door to open up the doors to a lot of things in your life. At the bottom of the deck, good fortune and friendship. What did I tell you? When your third eye is open, you see things in life in a more serious man manner. You you take accountability and and you get the you 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 see the best and the and the most valuable things and ways that you can really experience life on a higher level. And by doing that, one of the ways is you know overflowing yourself with this big cup of emotional fulfillment. No longer out looking outside yourself, opening up your own doors, closing the doors that no longer serve you no more, but having the key to all your opportunities, all your blessings, all your romantic relationships, all your um, regular relationships, and how you just view the world and relationships, period, moving forward. Definitely is showing on the outside of you. You are looking more appealing, more confident, more knowledgeable, and someone that uh, kind of like embodies and obtains a lot of wisdom. People kind of like, you know, you're drawing people to you. And not only that, your fortune is going to to really really show in this season that you're in because you're valuing things on a whole different level you're drawing in good fortune and friendship you're no longer gonna have to struggle in those areas no more so you have the three of pentacles this is you making a commitment to spirit, mind, body, and spirit. You are being congratulated and you have, it's like a graduation in a spiritual realm. You have succeeded in something here. And I think it has to do with love. You loving yourself. You are literally going through an initiation process. That's, you may have been feeling, you know, just tired or you know, you may be feeling a little bit um, emotionally unbalanced. That's because you're going through a, a real change, but not only in this material world, in the spiritual realm. You are being congratulated. You are, you are held in high honor here. Okay? Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. You're, you, you're held in high honor because you've mastered the art of giving and receiving here with the Six of Pentacles. A lot of people in the past tried to steal from you when you just wanted to like give and give. You know, uh, spirit also shine the light on a lot of people that were literally stealing from you or just stealing your energy or just vibrating at your rate, but, you know, not reciprocating. With energy vampires, a lot of people were not providing you that equal give and take energy, but you rose. You rose to the occasion and you realized a lot of things and you you know, you, you figured out that you don't have control over the low vibrational energy that people have around them when all you did was really try to be there for others. All you know now is that you have the ability to remove yourself from people, places, and things that don't have a lot of people's best interests at heart and that's what you did. You were always the person that was giving, 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 not only money, your heart, your time, your wisdom, your knowledge, your support. 
And a lot of people didn't understand, you know, the art of that, the gift of that, the gift of having a person like that. So instead, they they tried to misguide you because all they saw, all they seen was a kind hearted soul. You know that saying, took your kindness for weakness? Because why would somebody try to hide anything when you were the one giving? So that is okay because they're not at the level that you're you're at. So that's why spirit had you disattach yourself and you had to remove yourself and be alone at times. But that is okay because you have completed a cycle and you are literally being celebrated. You've, you've graduated to another season in a spiritual realm. This is spirit congratulating you, handing you an abundant gift that is manifesting in love through love here on this 3D earth. You have mastered the art of giving and receiving and realizing that a lot of people are not like you. And you must distance yourself from people, places, and things that want to take, 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 and, and drain your energy while you're trying to give. All right? Because you have to keep this cup of love flowing so you can never, never um, run out of love to give. All right? The last card here is, oh, the Ace of Cups. You have two Aces of Cups. This is confirmation that what you did was learn to not be like everybody else. What you did was learn not to be stingy or not to be mischievous or or lie or try to, um, you know, overuse your power. You didn't do that. You had the opportunity. But you did not. You learned that is an equal give and take in this world. And it is Karma is simply what you give is what you get. And you chose to give. You chose to give and do the right thing even when people wasn't looking. And that actually grants you not only the first huge cup of love, but now you have two so you will never run out. That's how spirit does. When you do good and when you be obedient and the things that you can control about yourself... You don't have to worry about running running out. Remember what I said? You don't want to run out. Spirit is saying no. You don't have to worry about that because you have another Ace of Cups. The Holy Grail. The honeysuckle around it is filled with abundance and love. And your, and your cup is, will, will run them over. So that's what I have for you. And you have literally gained access to everlasting and emotional fulfillment and abundance that one can ever experience and a lot of times that don't come in the form of money that come in the form of resources unions relationships mind body and spirit how you connect with yourself and others all right good fortune and friendship it is awaiting you you are drawing and you're magnetizing a lot of things because you have made a commitment to the divine, to yourself, and here on earth to build yourself up and to become more enlightened so that way you can help others, all right? There's no more waiting for your love. You just had to work on your third eye here, and now it is wide open. So now you get two cups of overflowing emotional support. The highest form of emotional fulfillment here, okay? You've learned the value of equal give and take in this world, even when people were hiding the things that was meant to be yours from you. You chose to not be like that, and you chose to continue to be seductive, pretty, and stand in your power knowing that everything is going to be rightfully restored back in your life as it is because now you hold the key to not only your destiny but believe it or not you hold the key to a lot of others so let that resonate with you all right at the bottom of the deck we have the five of um the five of uh yeah, the five of swords all right teaching Allowing people to know just because you may be younger than them, that doesn't mean you don't hold and you're not equipped with the knowledge that is needed to rise our people up. That is you standing in your power knowing that you may not have had the financial background that a lot of people have, but that does not take away from the wisdom that you hold. I love you guys.